What you think your mark on the game is like that's Trina shit? Like I feel like it's stamped, you know, uh, everything. It, it it paved the way for a lot of the girls that's out today. Mm -hmm. A lot of new artists, a lot of girls to feel confident, to feel like they could pop their shit and you know do their thing and. Um, you know, these girl, everybody come from different places. When I look at the music tonight, today, and all the new artists, they come from different places, different backgrounds, different struggles. You know, different you know situations than I came from, and mm -hmm. to see them get in the game and navigate and say, "I got a record," and just probably a month ago, I was nobody, right. just a girl from my hood or from my city or mm -hmm. working at a drive-through or a club or whatever. But now, oh, it's viral. It's social media. It's different ways to. Be an artist, put mm -hmm. out music. You ain't gotta shop a demo or go to a record label and try to shop a deal. All you gotta right. do is get a way to put your music together and put it up, and then you put out a banger and everybody's on that. Mm -hmm. So I just look at it. I like that. I I love that it's like raw and fresh like that. You know, it's hard though for women. Honestly, they need to know right. that mm -hmm. it's not an easy thing because mm -hmm. again, we require way too much. A lot of glam and all mm. the stuff that comes with us mm. right. so when it comes to like that and being consistent and you know wanting to put out content or videos and now everything is content everything is mm -hmm. you you we need to see it like what do you yeah, do yeah. even if it's in your car or even if it's walking down the street you got you feel me yourself so you know just to be that consistent that's investing in yourself you got to spend money on that right you know guys y'all can put on a, a shirt and jeans or whatever girls gotta get all done up mm -hmm. so just to yeah. invest back into yourself that's a power point in making it in this game you just got to find strategy stick to that how much right. you think uh women artists spend a year on glam oh. glam yeah uh <laughs> no honestly a lot yeah, she... i'm gonna be honest like just realistically like last year i think i spent like one hundred and twenty five thousand dollars, and that's just makeup that's not hair wow. and stylist. That's makeup. That ain't the clothes or none of that's that. That's just makeup. Damn. So that's so, their jury. That's our jury, basically. That's basically. Yeah. I mean, and because, they got to have a jury too, though. Yeah, you, that's another yeah. thing. So you got to really yeah. like figure out your plan in order to like manifest your look. It's mm -hmm. all about like constantly involving it. But it's an expensive factor. And even mm -hmm. when it comes to like women, girls, and labels, the labels do not want to, you know, fork the expense for that. They don't want to do that because it's mm -hmm. over expensive. Mm -hmm. And that's another cut for girls in the game, you know? Right. Like, so you got to really be kicking in, making some bread in order to invest back into yourself <laughs> to come out looking like, you know? Mm. Yeah, mm. you got to have like, somewhere to pull that money from. Yeah. It's like when you was in the game, though, like when you first came in, it was like full of niggas and you yeah. still stood out amongst the niggas. Mm -hmm. Like, we can give you that. Like, you come on the track with any nigga, you ripping it, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I don't think it's, that ain't really happening these days. Like, girls actually making their own tracks and popping off. Yeah. Like mm -hmm. how females used to be, Featured on nigga songs and shit, and we're going crazy. You mm -hmm. see what I'm saying? Now it's, it's more girls just got their songs, and this is the pop off song. I'm and they might put a nigga on their song. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Like That's you can get on a song with one of them niggas and rip they shit. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. what it was that moment though. When you heard nine, nah, everybody was like, "Who is this?" Yeah, like, it was just one of them I moments. Kind like, of set a tone for like girls to like pop up, like you know, say mm -hmm. how they feel and. Going against a guy. Exactly. That kind of mm -hmm. set the tone for that. So when exactly. you now have a, a dude put a song out and you want to put a girl feature, mm -hmm. you know, that's mm -hmm. what she's going for. Like, I'm about to, like, rip this down. That's and especially, it. like, I'm my sorry, bad. especially, bad, like, bad. with that, with the type of, of content that was in Nan Nigga and, like, the type of shit that you were saying, I was reading online somewhere that people, like, kind of look at you as... Sexy Red's fairy godmother. <laughs> oh gosh! <laughs> like, Lord like you kind of like you crawled <laughs> and walked so she could fly type shit. Like because back then, even like to this day, like you kind of set the precedent and allowed females to unabashedly and openly feel comfortable expressing how they felt about their sexuality. Mm -hmm. And before then it was like a taboo matter mm -hmm. and you know, oh my God, like don't talk about that, don't say mm -hmm. this, don't say that. You put it all out on the table and mm -hmm. was like, fuck it, here I am, this is how I feel, take it or leave it. And you really did a lot for women back then 